Hey guys, so I get a lot of people coming into my Twitch chat asking me basically what the best attacking operators are and why. So in this video, I thought it would be a great idea to list the top 5 attacking operators for year 5. Before the video starts, make sure that you drop a like, sub, and comment. It's much appreciated because we are actually rebuilding my channel since, you know, I got my channel back from the Hacker Man. So I'm trying to get back an algorithm, so it'd be much appreciated. Besides that, I stream on Twitch. Link will be in the description. Besides that, let me know down in the comments what your opinions are on this video and who do you think I should have put in the top five and why. At number one is Zero. Now, Zero was just added recently in the last update of Siege, and he's our newest operator on attack. Now, I've never seen an operator that's this effective when it comes to all around. Like, the last attacking operator I've seen that's been this good is Zofia, in my opinion. Zero brings a lot of utility and just a lot of intel. For example, he has four cameras, two drones, two grenades, and probably one of the best new ARs that we've seen in a very long time. The thing about Zero is his cams. I'm actually very surprised they actually brought him to live build with all this utility. I, I don't know what's up at Ubisoft. They're like, fuck it. Every new operator, let's just give them all the utility and, you know, let's make them overpowered and then we can see if the community complains about it. But I think Zero is very powerful. And when he's utilized in a team environment, he's especially good. Because, for example, I'd rather have a Zero ever since this new patch on a drone, like a, one of his Zero cams, than a Nomad. Because at least I can just get my teammate to give me the call, Z-ping, and, you know, that person will, will have to blindly rotate into me, basically, when I have all the intel and he has none. So I think Zero takes the point of being a flank watch and having... The ability to take out gadgets like ADSs, bandits, cage charges, everything. Bes besides that, he also has grenades, which is amazing because he has some possible soft destruction, like getting rid of a uh, certain utility like Maestro Cams. It's basically like just basic soft destruction. You can't play vertical with Zero. That's only downfall, but he can literally do everything else. He's a flex support op. I don't really know what to say because he's an all-around operator, but he's overall just overpowered and amazing. Yeah, one's prone in in, in uh, construction. We're picking him up right now. He's in, in, bro. He's sitting door, lounge door, one door. Three HP Jaeger here. He's sorry. He's starting now. Yeah, sorry, sorry. That's bandit dead. Deployed. I could get wall. Yeah, he was he was by bar lounge entrance. He's just on the angle. He uh, might rotate the construction. Reload. Can you get the? You can open a wall. You yeah, 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 yeah. Jam ready. Get on that. I'm on it. I'm on it. Yo, bottom garage, Liam. He's okay. Just shit on him. Yo, a cash door, cash door, left side cash door, left side cash door, Liam. I'm oh, taking a big shot. Watch uh, red. Red, maybe? Top red, top red, top red. Yep. Up. At number two is Zofia. Now, in my opinion, I believe that Zofia is probably top three when it comes to attackers she is definitely better than ash in my personal opinion just because her all-around loadout she has a great ar she's a 2-2 so it doesn't mean she's too clunky but she can take bullets she has soft destruction and stuns so she can burn ads's and then for example uh impact a maestro cam or if your teammates do the deed and get rid of those ADSs. For example, she has stun grenades that concusses people and actually slows them down. She has breaching charges, which allows her to play vertical play. She's just an all-around very effective and essential op. That's why you see pro players like Bolo mainly use her. She's just very effective and all-around a great operator. Just like everybody on this list, I'm trying to base this whole list off versatility and what they bring to the team. And I feel like just like Zero... Sophia is as close as it gets to great as zero just because she does everything all around. She can do soft destruction. You know, she has a great AR. She literally does everything. And if you don't have Sophia, buy her now. At number three is Sledge. Ever since the nerf on Buck where they took away his grenades, I feel like Sledge has just been more of an attractive operator when it comes to who to pick. Now, of course, Buck has the upper hand when it comes to playing bottom up vertical instead of top down, but 
most of the time that's situational that you have to go bottom up. So I'm mostly going to pick Sledge when it comes to soft destruction and when it comes to vertical play, just because he has one of the more consistent ARs, which is, of course, the L8. He has an SMG-11, which is the best secondary in the game, and he has grenades. That grenade factor allows Sledge to do so much more compared to Buck, which can, of course, just burn ADSs, and he can play vertical. But when you're playing vertical and you have the ability to throw grenades and use that type of utility, it works wonders, man. Garage looking. I can get, I can get, uh... Oh, okay. wrong ready, wrong ready, wrong ready. Wanda, Wanda, Wanda. Grab, grab. That's Whammy. Jaeger's new blue, Jaeger's new blue. Bro, oh, copy, 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 copy. Full big mods! Red, 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 red. He's pushing over, pushing over. On the platform. Oh, He's dead, last one was last team, you're blue. Right, Liam I'm is in people. full deep sight. Fine, fine, fine. Watch red, I'm, I got it. Where's your primary, you're trolling. Sounds like he's con. That's your teammate, my bad. Online attack. Yeah, peace. Starting con. Taking point, get behind me. Eight. Eight. No, no way you move that. I died. Fuck, I ran out of ammo. I'm pretty sure. No. He's very lit. He's Back literally. Up. What is threat? At number four is Ace. Ever since Ace has been released, he's definitely been a game changer because we haven't seen a hard breacher since Maverick was released. But when it comes to an all around hard breacher, you're going to want to pick an operator like Ace. I feel like Ace has definitely killed Thermite and most of the time Habana just because of what he brings to the table when it comes to how many holes he can make. He doesn't actually need, get, need to get in a position like Thermite when Thermite has to go up against a wall and be stuck in animation. Ace just throws his stuff like it's a grenade. So just that ability to be so versatile and have an AK-12, which is statistically one of the better ARs in the game, I feel like that stigma where you have to quote unquote don't get kills as a support operator and it, it just allows you to become a fragger as a support role i think ace is definitely a game changer and he's definitely changing the way that we play siege at number five and a mixture of a honorable mention is maverick and then the honorable mention being iq now i wanted to pick iq in this top five because i definitely feel like as the game gets more and more advanced with more trap operators and whatnot that she's more and more usable especially since the ga got angle grip on iq she's definitely such a powerful operator but like i said with more traps being added and more utility she's just going to be a neat operator especially with operator bans a lot of times thatcher's banned now even though you do have twitch and cali but if they run a mute it's almost impossible if you're facing a good mute player to get a twitch drone in sight but i don't think IQ can is a better operator than Maverick. That's why I wanted to put her as honorable mention. So the reason why I put Maverick at number five, and I think that he's a very viable and powerful operator, is because he's the only hard breacher that doesn't need to rely on other operators. What I mean by that is Maverick can make a whole wall soft. He can just throw a nade, or he can just Maverick the soft wall and break it down. Even though he's going to be put in a weird position where he's probably going to die. He's just one of those operators that doesn't need to rely on anybody but himself. If you're a good Maverick player, you're going to be very powerful because you can get multiple hatches, you can get multiple wall softs, especially you got a huge buff getting more canisters. Besides that, looking at his loadout, he has a great AR with a decent secondary and most importantly, he's a 3 speed with grenades. So he can do just about anything. He's a hard breacher that can get walls, but he can frag out. We're looking into more of a aggressive roles when it comes to support operators it looks like because they added maverick and they added ace and they're giving these operators very good weapons now if you enjoyed this video like i said like and subscribe it's much appreciated uh let me know your top five and what you think i did right and what i did wrong who you would add who would you swip swipe out all that stuff tomorrow i'll be doing a video on top five defenders so if you want to stay tuned make sure you keep the notification bell on have a lovely day, one love.